Man, this is nice. Isn't it though? It's so peaceful. Sound of the, you can hear the waves lapping and the sound of the birds. I just love it. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, shoot, shoot. There are times when a generator is, is nice to have, like when you've had days of, <laughs> of cloudy weather and no sun. But Linda and I have been on the road now for about a month and we haven't used our generator even one time. We depend entirely on so, off the solar on the roof of this trailer, um, one portable solar panel and, and po portable power stations like, like this, um, this EcoFlow Delta II Max. We've been depending on this one and this one right now is running our refrigerator because we just came out of four days of nothing but rain and it was bad. I got this Delta II Max from EcoFlow just at the start of this trip and it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. First, let's get the preliminaries out of the way. EcoFlow did send me this power unit and this solar panel down here for review. And, uh, but the companies that I work with are companies that allow me to speak freely. In fact, EcoFlow is one of those companies that says it's, a, you know, just do an honest review, that's it. We'll do the power station first and then the last half of the video, we'll do the solar panel because the solar panel is, um, I'm not gonna say game changer, because I hate that term, but it's, it's pretty special. I'll have to show it to you. Well, first of all, why even switch from a gas generator uh, to solar in a power station like this? Uh, first of all, you buy it once and then it's good for 10 years. That's it. You're using free energy from the sun. There's no buying gas. There's no buying oil. There's no maintenance, no fumes. It's quiet. Um, there's something else to be said for a power unit like this for uh, power outages. And that would be that, for one thing, you can't have a generator if you live in an apartment house. But you can use these indoors. They're absolutely quiet. And maybe you can set the solar panel out on your lanai or something. The other thing is, in a prolonged power outage, there's no more gas. No more gas means no more generator. And these will always work. So that'll run anything in your camp. I know it runs my Starlink all the time and it runs the refrigerator, of course, and lights and fan. Most of you guys have stuff that run that requires a lot more. Like this will run your microwave, no problem. Um, I suppose you could run an air conditioner with it, just not very long, a couple of hours, you know. However, this thing is expandable. It'll run your home. This is designed to uh, run your house. For example, you can buy, you can put, plug two batteries into this two more like this and expand this up to over 6,000 watt hours of power just by plugging two more into here. Another thing that this will do is, well, of course it's an uninterrupted power source. In other words, if you're using it for medical equipment or for uh, electronics that you can't uh, have shut down during a power outage, you can plug them into this and this will run them uh, uninterrupted power source, I've explained this in other reviews, but I'll do it again here. Um, if you plug something into this, uh, into the 110 outlet, and plug this into the wall, as long as it's plugged into the wall, you're using wall power, you're not using the battery. But if the power shuts off, within a fraction of a second, you're on battery power, getting your 110 out of this. Uninterrupted power. So this will do that. Another thing this will do is this will run in a certain appliances that, that um, draw up to 3,400 watts, which is a lot, and it'll, it'll, it'll run, even though it's rated at 2,400 watts with a 4,800 watt peak, it'll run appliances that draw 3,400 watts, like heating units. Um, you wouldn't run a, everybody asks me, can I run a heater with it? Well, yeah, you can. You could run two little space heaters off of this. Uh, for example, if you were a, uh, Getting up in the morning, you just want something to warm your van up and you wanted to turn on a little heater for a half an hour. Yeah, I would do that. Uh, let's see, they draw about 600 watts when you do that. So two, three, four, you can run it for four hours. One, one heater for four hours off of this. And then you would, of course, you know, it, this, that would run this all the way down. If you're just getting up in the morning and you want to turn your heater on for 30 minutes just to get dressed, you can. But heating units aren't uh, primarily what these are for. And with, with EcoFlow's X-Boost of technology that they used, you can run certain appliances up to 3,400 watts. It has uh, super fast recharging. 
If you hook up AC and solar to this, you can go from zero to 80% charge in just 43 minutes. But when you plug this into AC, it goes up to almost 1700 watts of input just on the AC alone. And it'll take a thousand watts of solar. So if you're using it for a power outage and you get the power back on for just a short period of time, you can, you can do a real fast charge on this. It's good for, it's good for 3000 uh, charges. Down, and that takes it down like the 80% level and the batteries last for about 10 years. It's got a five year warranty on it. Even though it weighs 50 pounds, they say it's about 30% lighter than other power units of this size. And the batteries are um, lithium ferrous phosphate. That's like a LiPo 4. This is designed to run a house, especially when you buy two more modules that stack on top of this, that take this up over 6,000 watt hours of power. And you can plug your, your home's 110 volt circuit into this. It takes a special switch on your, your home's circuit breaker box, which you have an electrician install. And that switch makes it so that uh, it makes you have to turn off your main switch before you can flip the switch to turn this on. So you can wire this up to your house easily and just use the power right out of the outlets to run your refrigerator or your microwave. It would even run, if you have a gas furnace, it would run a gas furnace. They don't draw all that much. It's mostly a big blower fan in there and some circuitry. You could run all that. And one other thing you can do is if you live in an area like Phoenix, Arizona, where they charge you a lot of money during certain hours of the day, you could flip off that main switch and run your house off of these during those high uh, cost peak times during the day and then switch it back again when the, when the uh, costs of the energy come back down again. I know that Linda and I have a friend in Phoenix, Arizona, and there's certain times of the day she doesn't do laundry <laughs> because it just costs too much. It's time to show you one of the things that makes this special though. I'm gonna show you. Ah, the sun's kind of bright, so it's gonna make it hard to see the screen, but. Basically, uh, it gives you the, just like they all do, it shows you your percentage in the left. I've got 61% left on this right now. And then it gives you a graphic uh, indication of what that's like. Shows you how many watts are coming in, how many watts are going out. It's got um, uh, warnings on here that show you, you know, in case something's wrong. And it shows you when the fan is running. Shows you how many hours you've got left for any load that you happen to be putting into it. Now, here's, here's something cool though. It be, it's besides the fact that it has um, four USB ports, two normal at what are, what are these 2.4 amps, and then two fast charge ones. It has two USB-C 100 watt um, outlets here, and the I like these. I always look for these because these are what I run my laptop on. These will charge my laptop, whereas a lot of them only have 60 watt. Now these are both just um, 100 watts power out. Uh, you can't put power in on these. Uh, the special thing about this is it has two, not just one like most. To start out with, it's got these 5.5 um, millimeter barrel plug connectors here. You can get a total of three amps out of this, out of the two of them combined. It's got your 12 volt cigarette lighter plug here with a real tight fitting cap, which is nice. You can turn this, this section off and on right here. Up here, it's got six outlets. These are the ones that I said, you can get 2,400 watts out of these. Uh, that would be the total. And so you could have two things of 1,200 watts or four things uh, at 600 watts each. You see what I mean? And 4,800 watt peak for surges, like for like when an air conditioner starts up or something. If you decide to run an AC off of this, for, there's a door up here and you open it up. This is where your AC recharging power plugs in. And over here are two places where you can plug in solar power. Uh, it'll take anything from 11 to 60 volts DC of solar power and um, an, uh, 15 amps per port here. I mentioned that this had some tricks up its sleeve. One was those two 100 watt USB-C ports. This is what I like right here. There's a switch right here. Slides back and forth. You can recharge this by putting in uh, both AC and two solar panels and you can charge this, this up in just 43 minutes up to 80%, like I mentioned. That's not always a good thing to do and you don't wanna do that if you don't have to. If you got time to charge, then you wanna charge this up more slowly. It used to be for EcoFlow that you had to use a phone app 
to uh, adjust your charging rate. This one just has a simple switch on it. Put it one way and it charges really fast and put it the other way and it charges at like three or 400 watts. To reiterate, you don't have to get out your phone and open up an app to change that setting. You just flip the switch. I thought that was pretty cool and that's a great upgrade. Now this doesn't have phone charging on top because these are designed to stack one on top of the other. And of course it protects itself from over voltage, overload protection, over temperature protection, short circuit. It, it takes care of itself that way with the battery management system. And you can charge it from either 110 or 220 volts, depending what country you live in. Now when the, when the fan is running on this, it's super quiet. But one thing that I didn't like is the way that the fan works. Like when we're sleeping inside and I'm charging something like my laptop or something, the fan starts and stops. It, it's kind of like, woo, woo. It's quiet, but in the dead silence of your trailer when you're sleeping, uh, like uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's not, it doesn't just come on like a refrigerator for a while and then shut off. It's very quiet. It's quieter than any other unit I've got. That was one feature I didn't like was kind of the way the fan ran. Of course, the reason it's doing that is to save battery power so it doesn't run the fan too much. It just runs it just enough to keep it at the proper temperature. Another thing that might not work for you is the fact that you use this from both sides. Everything's not on the front. Um, you've got your, these 12 volt plugs over here and the screen. And then on the back side is where there's some more 12 volt and some 110 plugs. Why did they do it like that? Well, I know why they did it like that. It's because this is so much smaller than similar units. For example, my Blue Eddy AC 200 Max is this tall and it's deeper. But by doing it this way, they were able to make things more compact. So this is a lot smaller. This is actually a small unit. This is, think about it. This has the same power as my Blue Eddy AC 200P or a Blue Eddy AC 200 Max in a package that's probably two thirds the size. But that's why it's this way. Another thing is that this is 50 pounds. Now Linda can pick this up and move it, but she struggles with it. And to tell you the truth, when I move it, her and I usually do it together. It's 50 pounds. So there's that. And then 2,048 available watt hours. I can make good use of that, and I do. But you should only get as big a unit as you actually need. You know, figure out what you need. What are you running? If you're not running a microwave, if you're not running a Starlink, if you're not running, you know, uh, a TV set, you might be able to get away with a unit half this size um, or even smaller. And I would recommend that because here's something else. You run this all the way down like I did the other day on purpose and it takes a lot of solar to get it back up again. You have to keep that in mind. If you're going to run something like this, you better have four or 500 watts or 600 watts of solar if you're gonna run it down every night by running an AC or something like that. Speaking of which, they sent me a solar panel that's different from anything else I've ever seen. I'll show it to you. This is EcoFlow's new 220 watt panel. It's a portable panel, but it's heavy. I'll show you why. <laughs> First of all, it's not built like other portable solar panels. This one is built uh, to last. <laughs> This case has a special feature. We'll go, we'll go over that in a minute. Yeah, this, this is made out of uh, really thick, I don't know what you call it. It would almost be like something, it's not rubber, but it's a, it's a plastic, it's a thick, thick, flexible plastic, probably close to an eighth of an inch thick. You could almost use this as uh, mud flaps on your truck, I kid you not. That's what this is like. It's got four big panels on it. Like I mentioned, it's 220 watts. And the strange thing about it is, it's got solar panels on both sides. What the heck is that about? <laughs> I'll tell you. 
First of all, you could leave this out in a driving rain, and I did. and it doesn't hurt it at all. Totally waterproof. I had this laying flat on the ground and I was walking back to my trailer and I was looking at something on my phone and I stripped square in the middle of it and put all of my weight on it, close to 200 pounds, didn't phase it. I'm not suggesting you do that, don't do that, don't. But the thing about the Delta II Max power unit is it takes a lot of power to charge it if you take it all the way down. Now most of the time, I don't think anybody's gonna buy a power unit that they're gonna take down all the time, all the way down to zero. For one thing, you should have twice as much power available to you as you actually need, so that you're only going down 50% and back up 50% in your, as you're camping, traveling, or using it at home. But if you're using some serious power, you're gonna to need to have a couple of panels like this and hook those up into those two solar panel ports on the Delta II Max have at least two panels of this size or panels on the roof of your outfit. So other than being really strong and being totally waterproof that you don't have to worry about it even in a driving rain, what the heck is the deal with the panels on the backside? <laughs> Let me tell you about that. And I'm even gonna to try to test them here. So the idea with having panels on the backside is that sunlight actually goes through the front panels and it's designed so that the back panels catch reflected light. For example, if this was like this, and you have light-colored sand back here, or snow back here, or a white surface, or, or even concrete that's reflecting light to the backside, this panel is designed to catch that reflected light. And EcoFlow says it'll give you anywheres from a 3% 3, 3 to a 25% boost in power. That's a wide range, but that just gives you an idea of what it can do. Can you lay it down the other way and, and get sun's rays? They recommend you don't do that because these panels here will put out um, the highest efficiency and the panels on the back will give you 80% of what the panels on the front will give you. So you always want this side facing the sun. Let's see if we can test this. The case itself is designed to be used as a kickstand to hold the panel up. And it does work. And you can adjust it up and down. Um, it's, a, it's a little tough for one person to do because the panel's quite heavy. But um, I just did that. And right now it's putting out 175 watts. Right there. I don't know if you could read it, but it's 175 watts. It's not angled at the sun. I just want to see, test out the reflectivity. If I angle it at the sun, that'll go up to 200. And now we've shaded it with that black cloth as best we can. And it's putting out 170, one, yeah, 170 about, maybe 171. It does receive through the back. If you've got the proper setup, it does work. Okay, Linda, take those panels off. Again, yeah, take them off and there it's going up a little bit. Now it's bouncing up to 172, 173. Okay, let me see now. One seventy five, one seventy six. Well, it works. So the bifacial design of the panel does work. It's just up to you to come up with a system to get the most out of it. Putting it away is easy. It just rolls up. Just like that. And it's got a carrying handle on it. It doesn't snap close. You know, it does this, but you just put your finger and hold it like that. It does have a handle. So I like the quality of the solar panel, heavy duty. Um, I like the case as a carrying case. I don't care for it too much, using it to prop the solar panel up because frankly, it's hard for one person to do. Um, it works. The other thing though is your case is always laying in the dirt and heavy rain and stuff, this case is gonna get messy in, in a hurry. But um, 
if you don't use the case, if you just lay it flat on the ground or lean it up against the side of your car, which is how I've been using it, uh, it works just fine. The panel here has a 12 month warranty and the Delta II Max has a five year warranty. I've got the uh, Delta II Max charging right now. I'm also running some things off it at the same time. I've got my Starlink plugged into it. I've got uh, the refrigerator plugged into it. And uh, this uh, Gulu up here is also plugged into it. And right now the power going out varies between 16 watts and uh, oh, about 134 watts, depending on what's clicking on. <laughs> and it's at 73%. It's got 167 watts coming in off the panel. Uh, the thing that I wanted to bring up, though, is that whenever you're charging a unit like this, you have to keep it cool. It will stop charging when the internal battery temperature reaches 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So if this is sitting in the sun and you're trying to charge it, it may stop charging. And of course, that's on purpose to protect your battery from uh, any damage that it may get from overheating. Now, the hotter a panel gets, the less uh, power it puts out. So you might put your solar panel out and you may see 200 watts and then uh, 20 minutes later, it may be down to 180. It's because the heat does that. So the hotter the day, the less power you get from a solar panel. And if you put them out when it's snowy and cold, bright sunshine and, and freezing weather, you'll see the, you can see the full rated wattage of a panel sometimes. Okay, the panel is hot and it's putting out its rated 220, well, there's 223, 223 watts. So uh, it's doing real well. So in a nutshell, this will run uh, your, your power tools and, and things that draw a heavy electrical load like that, you know, a table saw or just your microwave and anything, anything you'll have in camp, it's gonna run. Um, when I got this, I did have a problem with it. it wasn't uh, charging off of solar very well, and that turned out to be a, there was already an update available for it for the firmware, and I wasn't aware of it, but as soon as I downloaded the firmware up, update into it, it was fine, it works perfect. So the, hopefully the, ones that, the one that you buy will already be updated. If not, it's, it's, like update, it's like when you buy a new phone and you got it, the first thing you do is update the firmware. Uh, this does have um, an app with, with Bluetooth, and when you open up that app, you can make all kinds of adjustments in it for how, how much, how fast you want it to charge. You can dial that down, how low you want it to discharge, how high you want it to charge, all kinds of other uh, adjustments you can make and change over time if you want to. And anyways, uh, let's, let's figure out the price on this. Okay, the Delta II Max is $1,899. The Delta II Max and two, uh, two of the uh, 220 watt uh, solar panels is $2,299. Each additional battery, like you could put two more batteries on this, those batteries are $1,399. But if you buy the Delta II Max and the two, batter and two batteries, it's $2,999. If you do the math, you save $700 by buying them as a bundle. That's uh, not bad, $3,000 that you can wire into your home for power outages. That ain't bad. Uh, and let's see here. I don't know the price of the individual 220 watt panels, but that'll be available in a few days from now when this hits the market. You'll have to check. If you need more information, please click on the link below. Uh, it's better to do that and go straight to the website and read the specs than it is to text me and or comment and ask me what's this and the what's that. Just just go to the website and look at the specs and get it, get it all from there, get it firsthand. So EcoFlow is a brand that I trust. If you're in the market for a power station of this size, maybe you want to consider this one. Hope you guys uh, got something out of the review. We'll see you around.